Many men do not fit in the alpha and beta roles. So that is why there are more alphabet-based personality types to consider. Without a doubt, one of the most interesting ones is the Sigma male. The Sigma male is the one who does not identify with a certain place in the hierarchy. Moreover, he uses the hierarchy to his advantage. He loves freedom, independence, and solitude over status, money, and fame. Sigma males are often the ones who step outside their comfort zones, create amazing things, start businesses, are quiet and confident partners, and hard workers. Sigma males will rise to the top of a new hierarchy, but it will be of their own making and design. Number 1. He keeps silent when he doesn't understand. Many people have their opinions on things they don't know anything about. They simply want to look smart or dominate the conversation. But the Sigma male only talks when he has something valuable to add to the conversation and this is only the case if he understands the subject. Moreover, as far as he is concerned, keeping your mouth shut is superior to speaking most of the time. Not only you are giving away valuable information when you are talking all the time, you are not listening to either. He who knows does not talk. He who talks does not know. By keeping silent, the Sigma male not only prevents disturbing a conversation with nonsense, he might learn something meaningful. There are exceptions to the rule of course. We all get in a churning mood sometimes. Engaging in a nonsense talk that's just for the laughs. I guess then it's fine to talk out of your ass. Let's not take life too seriously, right? Number 2. He's morally gray, or worse. Sigma males aren't always the best people out there. But as they would say, it's always a matter of perspective. Sigma males can be righteous protectors of what they believe is right or wrong. Or they can be cynical and jaded, either way. Their capability makes them a force to be reckoned with in regards to the status quo. Most Sigma males end up falling somewhere around the gray area of morality. They are generally introspective and smart enough to see that there are certain parts of the system that just don't make sense and therefore they don't demand the true respect that society tends to give them. They can see the flaws in social systems and don't always understand why we need to look up to them. So they're more likely to use their powers for disrupting the status quo. While that doesn't mean that Sigma males are bad people, it does mean that they need to understand the logic behind everything they do and support. If they don't, they'll be hard-pressed to actually put their effort into doing something that seems stupid to them. Number 3. He knows how to adapt to different situations. Alpha males can grab a social group or a situation by the neck and make themselves the leader. But there are times when imposing your own leadership isn't always possible. When alpha males aren't given the respect or authority they think they deserve, they have a tendency to become a lesser version of themselves. And that's where a sigma male has the advantage. While a sigma male can be in charge if they need to be, they don't require the validation of being the leader in various social situations and power dynamics. They are happy to fit whatever role is needed for them at any given moment, meaning they are more fluid and flexible than alpha males, and thus more commonly successful in any situation. With no self-imposed expectations or pressures, a sigma male can be either a follower, a leader, or any position in between, as long as they know that they are being used efficiently and productively. The problem with this, however, is that this can sometimes rub other people the wrong way. The unabashed confidence and freedom to play any part can come off as arrogance, intimidating those around the Sigma male. Number 4. He goes left when the majority goes right. A Sigma male is by nature a non-conformist. He does not follow the herd unless he has a good reason. Yes, he can be social and enjoy social gatherings as well. But in the grand scheme of things he rather goes his own way. The Sigma male recognizes that herd behavior is often the consequence of being led. Like sheep by a shepherd. And because he does not like authority, he sees himself unfit for the majority. When he travels he avoids the big tourist attractions. When he goes for a hike he prefers uncharted areas. He is rarely susceptible to hypes trends and mass hysteria. This does not mean that he denounces the world. When he feels like he blends in, he knows the herd, he knows how to act like one of the herd. And he even knows how to dress, talk and think like the herd. But he is not part of the herd. 
and that's his secret. Number 5. Perception Sigma males are harder to read for most people. Indeed, most people might not even know what the term even means, since mainstream psychology has bracketed men into alpha versus beta for so long. Once people know someone with Sigma characteristics, they are seen as independent thinkers, lone wolves, disassociated from a lot of social conventions. And good listeners, Sigma males have only recently started to gain recognition as a personality type. For a very long time, the male psyche is discussion was classified into black and white or alpha or beta. A Sigma male, while having traits from both, is different from them. He can be a good listener but also state his point eloquently. He will abstain from immediate judgment but can be a good judge of character through his observation and listening skills. He will not crave leadership or dominance but can handle the responsibility. Number 6. Attractiveness Each one of these personality traits of a Sigma male makes him extremely able to attract women. The truth is that most girls see their bad boy. Mysterious and self-sufficient natures as a challenge. They want to get to the bottom of their personalities and get to know the real guys hiding behind these masks. Nevertheless, the thing about Sigma men is that they don't play hard to get, they really are hard to get, and they hardly let anyone near them. This man doesn't chase women nor does he have the habit of jumping from one bed to another. Instead, in most cases, girls are the ones who approach him, trying to figure him out. Number 7. Charisma One of the most appealing Sigma male personality traits is without a doubt his charisma. This characteristic isn't natural for a Sigma. But with time, his high intelligence has made him realize that his introverted side can't help him learn more about people. So he's developed his social skills and his charisma to the point where he can hold the attention of a full room just by talking. When he wants to do it. His charisma comes from his confidence and the way he looks at himself. He uses the empathy of his introverted personality to connect with people at a higher level. 